uh, TT Junior Verity, Mr. Reynolds, uh, spoken word. Topic is my connection with God. So I'm sitting down on my seat, waiting for my bus to leave. And this old man turns around and he asked me, Son, do you have a connection with God? And I only answer with a yes. Yes, I do. See, what I was meant to say is, my connection with God is so wonderful. Deep inside my heart, my connection with God is so powerful. Deep inside my emotions, my connection with God is so soulful. Deep inside my actions, my connection with God is so joyful. See, whatever negative comment you make to try and stop my connection with God, it won't work because my connection with God is unbreakable. It's like becoming Superman, knowing you're unstoppable. And when I face those negative comments, I feel like I'm in the ring, like Muhammad Ali, knowing I have God by my side, only to feel unbeatable. I'm just trying to get across to you how relevant it is to have a connection with God in our life. Because all I see in our society is people dying just trying to survive. You see, my God is almighty. My shield that can block me and protect me when things get heavy, when the devil tries to tempt me. My God is king of all names. I say things that can hurt him and go against him, but he is my shepherd that will never forsake me because my God is almighty. You see, one of the hardest things when you're connected to God is keeping your connection because I know that there is so much temptation because the devil himself tries to stop it. But we have to have that mentality of passing it, fixing it, going through it, manipulating it, stopping it, because that is a true connection with God. And you know when you're connected with God, when you open up your heart to Him, when every single problem that you're feeling is sent to Him, like a burden that's been stuck and trapped within you, only to feel like it has been separated and released from you. See, that's the power and the work with God when you're connected to Him. He has the power to transform and manipulate your thoughts because all He wants us to do is follow Him. He wants us to talk about Him, acknowledge Him, stay connected with Him, thank Him. Because in Proverbs chapter 3, verse 6, it says, In all ways acknowledge Him, and He will make your, your path straight. The best thing about being, being connected with God is that He guides us to the right path. But like every path, there is a gap in it. All we simply have to do is step over it. And easy as it looks, but in society, we struggle with this. Because we physically, mentally, spiritually put ourselves in this situation of how we can accomplish this. See, you put yourself in this situation. The situation of trying to seek answers just to gain some information. The situation of this voice in your head telling you to give up because that's your obligation. But through the connection of God, there is, there is nothing, there is no such thing as this. Because by the click of his fingers, every problem in, in, in your life doesn't have to come to this. But let's put this into reality. See, psychology is God's speciality. His status is higher than a PhD because that's how much he cares about you and me. In life, we interact and connect with others by using verbal expression. <laughs> It's, it's the same principle with me and God's connection. You may ask, how do we connect with God? A simple way is putting up your hand and saying that you want to be a, a part of this band. This band that can't be broken, nor forgotten. See, because my God will always be there for me. He will always be guiding me, loving me, because that's my connection with God. And so I sit there, <laughs> and think to myself, what if this was my answer to the old man's question? And what if I asked this old man the same question? Will he have the same question? Oh.